Happy New Year, everybody! Yay, I'm Captain Foley. And I'm Connor Cockins, and that is, that is a wrap for 2021. It's finished its you know time on screen. It can now go into the backlog. You mean 2020? You said that's a wrap for 2021. Stuart, I'm so confused by this year. I'm going to leave that blooper this one, in because this one's actually going to be over already. I mean, we've had a very busy year. Um, the world has not done well. Uh, although I will, I will, you know, as a slight caveat to that, I think we've done so much content this year. We've heard from lots of people how much that's helped. You know, being stuck inside or not being able to do stuff. The amount of stuff we've produced has been a good thing. So we've, I think, we made you know lemon juice out of lemons. Lemonade. That's what it's called. <laughs> I'm proud of what we did this year. It's been a very busy year for us. Jesus. Whew. Yeah, the last 23 weeks have been amazing because we've had new Discovery. We've had Mandalorian and all some good stuff. Brand new there, Lower like... Decks. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, Great success of this year. And there's a lot more to come with Star Wars and even Star Trek coming up. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm glad you guys are part of the Trek Yards family. Um, you know, we've got a lot of great, exciting stuff not only already filmed and in the bank so if you haven't checked it go check it out um and also coming up i mean like i said there's a lot of new shows there's a lot of new content and we're looking forward to tackling it all we're going to be here on the front lines doing the all the the nitpicking and and the the, the searching for Easter detailed eggs. breakdown and analysis scene by scene actually yeah so you guys don't have to <laughs> that's what we're here for and we like having the discussions with you guys so thank you for being part of the community and uh, looking forward to many more of you joining in the near future. And I'm thrilled to say our community's greatly expanded based on this year's content, those that have come to watch our reviews and, like you said, analytical content, which isn't anywhere else. You know, no one does this level of in-depth stuff, and that's great. That's what we're here for. And so I love the fact that our views have grown so much. A couple of videos really exploded this year. And a lot of you, you know, our live viewership, which we love doing those lives, that direct communication with you guys, where you get to have your direct voice, but also... Well, well, there is the voice that lets you influence um, what we talk about. That's really grown a lot this year. You know, 28, 2019 was a good was a, was a good year for us for that. You know, we kind of that was a big tester year after the initial year of 2018. This has really, really gone well with that. Um, the community, you know, so many regulars, the, the channel membership stuff has really made a massive, massive difference this year. And now, you know, it's great to see in the lives that logo that with the names. It, it, it's really, really nice to see, you know, this really, like, tight-knit community that we've, we've created. You know, we... we we come at this from our own offices and our own spaces and we don't really we can't really have a sense of how many people we we really get to and are in their homes and such um until we really hear those messages you know just just keep making content and people enjoy it but it's been a you know hell of a year for content for us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like we said there's lots more to come so we're looking forward to doing every little bit of it for you guys and uh, if you could you guys can join us for our lives and just hang out with us we'd like to get to know you we'd like to see those regular names pop up in the lives and in the comment section um, we've definitely built a nice little family here and we really appreciate all you guys for cause if it wasn't for you there would be no us we would have given up a long time ago even though we really love this um, it, it, it would have to be stable yeah yeah exactly it has to be worth it so um, and you guys have definitely made it worth it and so thank you for it's just thank you you guys are the reason we're here yep so. and I, I will say that I think we've had to do a lot of I mean if you include Picard that's 33 weeks out of 52 of show based content I think we're both itching to go back to some classic ships. I, I think that's fair to say. I mean, we have obviously, we did look at the brand new ships every week when there was one, and that's been a really fun experience. But I think we're both itching to kind of, uh, you know, go back and do some sexy, you know, because those ships are little sexy ships out there, you know, go back and do yeah, some. And I mean, I mean Trekyards, Trekyards came about because of ships. We do love the ships and the tech. So yeah, we want to sink our teeth into some of that. While there's no new content, because it's going to be a little bit of a lull, I think, because of uh, COVID filming last year, just the release schedule is going to be pushed back a little bit. So and besides, they wouldn't have had anything for a month or two anyway. Like you know, Prodigy would be the nearest thing, and it, it would either be done or not done. They couldn't like speed. They can't make that done quick necessarily. So there wouldn't have been anything, I think, until March or June anyway. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff. I mean, Star Trek Online they released a lot of great ships this year. The Eagle Moss collection they've done, you know, we've obviously been collecting that for an extra year. A lot of good stuff. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff. And I will say fan film stuff. That's been a really good year for fan films in 2020. I've been involved in quite a lot of them. A lot of great ships have been coming out from that um, and, and such. I think there's a lot of really interesting things we're going to be able to do this year that, that are both classic us but also new.
Make sure you're subscribed and notified so you get, don't miss any of that stuff because, we, we, like I said, the community is the most important part, and we've built a fantastic one, and we're really proud of that. So, um, Just yeah. keep feeding it with juicy steaks worth of content. Ooh, I like steak. Probably going to get a steak for me and Sylvia because it's her birthday. So, yeah. Yeah, anyway. I haven't really thought about the dinner. Before I, sh I probably should think about that, shouldn't I? Probably, yeah. Christmas is good, though. I always do Christmas dinner. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're doing because we're under lockdown. So, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyway. Um, yeah, I've never been one to, to go out to New Year's parties per se. So, except when I was at uni. So, you know, family base is still fine. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys. Enjoy if you can, you guys. Enjoy if you can. Yes. Anyways, thank you so so much, guys, for joining the channel and being part of our community and just hanging out with us all year long. And trust us, we got years worth more of content to come out. You'll be you'll you'll get sick of us. We don't get sick of each other. Ever, or we, we love, love each other. Love us even more. Like I guess that links some of what you said. Love us even more. We love each other even more. After six years going to year seven. I never get sick of this guy. I'm telling you, every time I see him, I'm just like so happy. Which is true, actually. He generally cheers me up. It's like we're married. It's like we're married. Sometimes you kind of annoy me, but you know I annoy you too, so it's fair. But overall, we enjoy each other. So a classic Goddamn. married internet web show couple that is successful. Well, oh, actually, no, we could say one of the few truly successful long distance going on seven years. God, well, we got. Oh, we'll have the seven year itch. We'll want to break up and you know, be cheat on each other with other YouTubers and. <laughs> I mean, hey, you could be, you know, you could have fun times. I don't know. Again, interesting topics there. But, but Stuart, 10 year anniversary, we're going to do for 10 years. Because that's, that's definitely closer than it's ever been before. That has to be an event, surely. Gosh. Well, we'll talk about that soon. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. When I say soon and you're like, oh, that's still four years away, you know how fast that'll happen? And also, we'll be like, we're, it's, a, it's a 10 year. Did you, did you believe that? <sighs> Anyway, hopefully you guys will still be here for that as well. So uh, we got to do it. We're going to do a live soon, uh, hangout live, where we talk about the end of Discovery because Discovery is coming to a wrap very shortly. Oh goodness! And then we have some videos to do. We have some, of course, reviews to do. But then we're going to have a live retrospective talking about the entire season. And uh, join us for that because it will be a drunkyards live. So you can get us drunk, you can get us plastered, and you can hang out with us. And you've enjoyed our recent drunk live. You know you have. We enjoy them for what we remember. So uh, help us out because that you know drunk drunk chatting is is good. When there's a specific drunk topic like let's dissect discovery, <laughs> let's discover dis discovery is like, oh my goodness, the things that come out of that sort of video. So yes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have yourselves a great uh, twenty twenty one. Hopefully, it gets better from here. I mean, I can't. I get, I shouldn't say it can't get worse, but anyway. Oh, it's been a year. Anyway, so thank we'll you see you then. Us. Mixed blessing for sure. So, until then, I am Captain Foley, and I am Connor Cogan. Still unpromoted for a seventh in a row. Happy anniversary! <laughs> I mean, Bye, happy anniversary. Why would not an anniversary? Happy New Year, guys. Happy oh, New Year. Bye, guys. Bye.